Now here's a possible technique you might be able to use to create a cut and fill type situation on a site. So first of all, I'm just going to draw a mesh as we see that I've done. I haven't contoured it yet. I've got some 2D lines that represent contours there already. And let's say we know the height of the back of the site, which might be, let's say, 1500 high. I'm not applying to all, I'm just making the two heights, the two back corners 1500. And then I'm going to draw a slab where our proposed house might be. So then I open a cross section that I've drawn through the site and at the moment this is at a meter high but the bottom should probably be at 800 so it's really should be sitting there now so the bottom of this slab is actually 800 high so I go back to the floor plan We'll draw a polyline from the start of the slab around the building with the suitable offset and this represents my platform and then I'll draw a secondary line that represents where the cut would go. Once I've done that, I can select the mesh again, make sure I'm on the mesh tool, hold my space bar down and put no surface fitting on that. And then once I've done that, I change the heights to that to 800, which is the bottom of the slab and that was applied to all and then once again I want to see the contours so I'm just going to select that show all ridges so at the moment we've got that so theoretically we've got our cut and fill correct at the moment and then I can continue shaping the mesh first of all select the mesh hold the space bar down select the second line this time I'm going to select fit to all ridges push OK and then I can further fit to all ridges then what I might do is just zoom into this area here, deselect it first, zoom into this area here and delete the polyline in this area here. Because we don't want that being affected. I could even delete that one really. And then select the mesh again. Make sure I'm on the mesh tool and hold my space bar down. Space bar down. Space bar. Left mouse click. Left mouse click. And then once I've done all that, I can give everything heights. So, first of all, click on the Z tool there. Make that. 1200, apply to all, make this 1100, apply to all, 1100, this can be 700, Seven hundred. And this can be 500. So once we've done that, we should have a cut and fill. Just 
just to check that I'm going to open the section elevation again and there we have it there another technique in creating a cut and fill type platform on a building site is possibly a bit more efficient and that's using the use of stories so first of all if we go to design story settings we can see that I've set up my level 1 at 2 meters this is the height that I want my slab to sit at and at the moment the zero height datum is at 2 meters and this is the height from the start of the slab to the underneath of the slab this is a dimension that I already know I may have worked out already so if I push OK, we can see on the zero height, I've drawn a mesh and I've got to make sure I'm on the mesh tool and this over here is one story up. I can see this is my slab and we can see that this is a slab and it's at the top of it is at 2100 and the bottom is at 2 meters. So I have to make sure that the mesh I can select from this story now I'm going to go back to the zero story and draw my first constraining guide. So first of all, I'm just going to draw an area, add new points, and fit to user ridges, push OK. And then I'm going to go up a story and select the same mesh, making sure I'm on the mesh tool, and draw where my cut and fill will take place. I'm going to create a hole and use no surface fitting. Now this will mean that it will take it to no surface fitting will take it to this 2 meter height. So if I go to the 3D window now we can see that I've got a fill there and I've got a cut there and now if I go back to my first level, I can actually go to the, doesn't really matter which level I do it on, I hold my space bar down and click on the inner rectangle and then if we can see that I've drawn a mesh there and I can either do this in 3D or 2D and I grab the height and extend it to that node there. As soon as I've done that, there I've got a perfect cut and fill and if I open the section or elevation and open that up we want to make that minus one meter and there's my cut and fill and there's a good way to do that